keep you away from the stage. And though you desperately want to be healed, though you want it with all of your heart, you will not, you will not get it here. You shall be disappointed here. And you will go home as broken as you ever were. And when you go home, as you sit in that pew and hear the reason why you were not healed, the reason that Benny Hinn will give you for not being healed, you will sit and you will consider yourself worthless. But you are not worthless. You are made in the image of God. You are created by Him and for Him. And He loves you. And He wants you to repent. And He wants you to believe in Him and trust in what Jesus has done for you. But when Benny Hinn tells you that you're not healed because you don't have enough faith, He is a liar. He is a liar! Don't believe him! Benny Hinn will lie to you tonight and he will say that it is because of your lack of faith that you are not well. He will tell me that it is your lack of faith that you do not have money in your pocket, that you do not have a mansion, that Jesus wants to give you the desires of your heart. But flee, my friend! the desires of your heart. Flee them. Flee the desires of your heart because your heart and my heart is desperately wicked. It says it in Psalms. Our hearts are wicked. If we trust what we think we want, we are wrong. What we should want is the glory of God. The glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Benny Hinn will tell you that you're not rich because you haven't commanded it. It's a lie. It is a lie. It's not in the Bible. It's not in the Bible and it is not from God. The Holy Spirit indwells a man so that you might know. Will you cry out to God? Will you get on your knees and pray and beg the Holy Father to hear you and to say, I repent. I leave my thinking behind. I want only your Holy Spirit and not a counterfeit. You will find a counterfeit tonight. You will find a counterfeit in the teaching of Benny Head. My friends, beg for God to forgive you. Trust alone in what He has done. He is faithful and just to forgive you. Confess your sins to Him alone. And when you do, when you confess your sins to Him and repent from your way and trust alone in what Jesus Christ has done for you on the cross, your sins will be forgiven. God will not hold you accountable to them anymore. You will be a forgiven man, a forgiven woman. You will be embraced by the Father who loves you and longs to embrace you because He has a, given you the free gift of eternal life. But right now, if you have not done that, if you have not repented and believed, you are an enemy of God. And I will say it. The psalm says it. God hates you. You won't hear that inside, but I love you enough to tell you God hates the unrepentant sinner. The unrepentant sinner is at enmity with God. He loves the world. He loves everything in the world. He lives for today. He lives for his flesh. But my friends, you should not be that way. Repent. And trust alone in what Jesus Christ has done.